When elections come around, people begin to think about the, the voting process and what the governments are doing, what they're supposed to do. And a lot of people come to the, the, uh, the representatives, the people that would like to be voted for, and they ask certain questions. One of the questions they ask is, how much money are you going to put into our community or into, into the things that interest me? Uh, they're concerned about big issues and sometimes very, very uh, local things that are pro problematic to those people. And they want the politicians to solve their problems, throw some money at it, make some promises, uh, bring in some resources and take away all the problems if they can. And of course, the politicians, because they want your vote, well, they'll tell you anything that you want to hear. I think it was the Australian Alan Peace who talked about body language, who said that the way to tell if a politician is lying is to see if um, <clears throat> their lips are moving. Because if they are, you can be pretty sure they're not telling you the truth. It seems that we've come to that opinion because successive uh, politicians down through the generations have told you what they think you want to hear so that you will vote for them. But then once you vote for them, they just step into office and do whatever their party tells them to do or whatever they plan to do in the first place. Now, when Australia was set up, when our constitution was established, when the nation was established on this constitution, the whole point of a person who was elected was to be a representative, to stand up for what was good for you. Now, people in the Senate, They've got to think about what's good for their state. Because remember, the six colonies all came together and they were upgraded to states and they were given the House of Review, the Senate, to be able to protect the interests of their state because that's what they have to protect as they bring it into a federation. But all the MPs, the representatives, are there to represent all the people across the whole of the nation and to see that those things that are important to those people are taken into Canberra and whatever Canberra or the federal government can do is done the best way possible for the people. But we've moved a long way away from that. See, even though that's our foundation, but what we find is a representative is elected into Canberra and instead of doing what he's meant to do to represent the people, he represents his party. He represents his special interests. He represents the lobbyists and maybe the international forces that are speaking to him about what they want him or her to do. Now, that process is to actually violate the very thing that our forefathers put in place for you and me, our constitution. The only thing that a representative should be able to do is to represent you. And that's the thing that I'm doing on behalf of the Australian Federation Party. I'm standing up to ask you to give me the opportunity to stand up for you, to take your interests and your values and what's important to Casey into the federal parliament and to bring back from that whatever resources or laws or responses are appropriate within the purvey of what a government could do that will benefit and bless the community and all the communities around Casey. Which brings me to another point I want to address. We really are a community. Now, we're a diverse community. There are people in our community that hate my guts because I'm a Christian, other people that have certain special interests, people that have certain things they care about. We have Aboriginal communities. We have uh, people that are looking for sexual privileges and rights. We have people that are concerned about their family and their homes, people that want disaster recovery. And all of those things are worthy things for people to have personally. But as we come together as a community, we have to think about the common wealth. A federation, different things coming together and packaged together for the common wealth so that everybody benefits. So it's not my job to see anybody disadvantaged or to fight and resist any particular group. If they are members of the city of Casey, my responsibility is to represent them and to do what I can for the good of those people whilst also looking after the whole of the community. And so my challenge is to be able to step into this role and to think about you as an elector within Casey and to do what's good for you. Now, I'm not going to throw millions of dollars at you. I'm not going to make all sorts of promises. I'm going to promise that I will stand up for you and seek the best for Casey. And whatever is available out of Canberra, whatever is appropriate out of the Commonwealth resources or laws or responses, I'm going to be barracking for them. At the same time, I'm going to be asking the Casey community to stop fighting with itself, to stop fragmenting, to stop being a bunch of people that have special interests that will compete with each other, and to see ourselves as a commonwealth, even within that very electorate, so that we can actually work together with the resources that I can bring in and with the wisdom that we can share amongst ourselves to make Casey a better place.
Now, that's a practical process. That's it's a, a feet on the ground kind of process that I want to, to oversee and foster because there's great resources in Casey, great people doing some amazing things. We don't necessarily need any more money. We need to be empowered to do what we can do for each other and to do it effectively and to become a better place. Well, I can't make promises. I can't pull money out of the air. I can stand with you for the next three years and be what you need in this electorate to be able to make it a better place. So I'm asking you to trust me, to give me a chance, and I'm asking you to realise that we are a great people with a great constitution, a great nation, a great future, if we just work together and make that a reality. I'm looking forward to your vote. Thanks for that. Authorised by Geo Rourke, 101 Collins Street, Melbourne 3000, for the Australian Federation Party.